Hi, this is Almiru Oosthuizen with Cape Town Emergency Medicine and today I'm being assisted by my dad, Ubaru Oosthuizen. Today we're going to talk about how you can use simple things that you can buy in a shopping center or general dealer or a grocery store to provide really excellent wound management in austere environments. Whether you're out hiking with some friends, you can put it in your bug out bag, whether you're on an ambulance crew in a pre-hospital environment where resources are limited, or even during major incidents or disasters, there are excellent alternatives to all the conventional solutions. We'll start off today talking about basic approach to extremity injuries, what to do with a squirting bleeding wound, how to clean a wound in the field, and how to dress a wound in the field. When you have an extremity injury, such as this one here, and it's bleeding profusely, the simplest way to control that bleeding is simple, direct, external pressure. Take your hand with a wad of cloth, towel or anything else that is at hand, hold it over the wound and simply apply enough direct pressure for the bleeding to stop. If you have a deep penetrating wound or a hole, one interesting solution to consider is to place tampons, again something you can buy from a grocery store, into that wound. The tampons will absorb some of the blood and as it expands the tamponading effect will help stop the bleeding. The second thing to consider is how you will clean the wound, and I suggest that you use a simple drinks water bottle filled with tap water. Something like this can be bought very cheaply, and you can refill the bottle over and over from the tap. To rinse the wound, I like to use some of these pop cap bottles, because you can let it gently flow down if you just need to cool, and you can even use a stronger stream to jet irrigate the wound as is required. Once you've rinsed down the wound, you could dab it dry or use some gauze or other material to wipe off any foreign bodies or foreign material still lodged in the wound. To do this, you could use an unsterile gauze pack if you have available. An excellent alternative if you don't, and again something you can buy from a grocery store, is simple kitchen toweling. You could rip off a few sheets, scrunch it up, dab, and wipe if you need to. Once you've done this, you need to dress the wound. You can use conventional bandaging methods. Or something that works extremely well, including for burns, is to use simple clean wrap. Ask the patient to hold their arm out. Simply take the clean wrap. and firmly wrap the affected wound. This achieves everything that you want from a pre-hospital or field dressing. It protects the wound from the external environment. It can tampon out bleeding if you wrap it tightly enough. It will expand, preventing swelling and compartment syndromes. And you can inspect the wound through the dressing if you need to. It's also cheap, much faster to apply than conventional dressings. And once you get to the hospital or to the definitive care phase, removing it you don't do any further damage to the wound as it doesn't stick to the wound or the skin surface underneath. Now a big roll like this could be clumsy if you're dealing with hands or small areas. All you need to do is to cut this in half, in half again, and even in half again to leave you with a selection of sizes. You can now use a small piece like this to dress fingers, like that, or even the limbs of neonates and children with burns. You can match the size of your dressing to the size of the wound and the size of the patient. For all of this, if you have gloves available to protect yourself, that would be ideal. Medical examination gloves are expensive and not always available, especially during disaster situations, hikes, or austere pre-hospital environments. An alternative, again, that you can buy from a grocery store or from a general dealer would just be cheap dishwashing or work gloves. These are cheap and replaceable, that can be washed, and it's something that you can use to protect yourself if you really need to. So to summarize, you can buy most of what you need for good initial wound management in a grocery store or general dealer. Bleeding wounds should have direct pressure applied to them, or in gaping deep wounds, consider placing tampons in that wound before applying the direct pressure externally. 
rinse the wound with something simple like a drinks water bottle and a pop cap so that you can control flow and apply jet irrigation. Wipe the wound with something simple like kitchen toweling paper which you can also bunch up and use as a wad dressing on top. And then dress the wound with cling wrap, excellent for burns or any other extremity injury. Protect yourself with kitchen wash gloves if you don't have medical examination gloves available. And that's it. Initial extremity wound care management in austere environments. Thank you very much.